For the cheapest Madden coins available, check out my sponsor, One Stop Mutt, to start building that God Squad you've always wanted today. Use code WAZ to get 15% off your order. What is going on everyone, Wizard of Waz here with another Madden 21 video and today I wanted to change it up a little bit. I've made a couple of Budget Beast video, I've made a couple of the best players in the game videos, but those are like opposite ends of the spectrum. That's like the minimum amount you want to spend on a player, a good player, and then obviously the maximum. Usually the best players in the game cost the most. So I kind of wanted to do something that was more of a middle ground and I figured a best bang for your buck kind of player, the most cost efficient player, whatever you want to call it, might be a good video for those of y'all who are pretty much like every other player. You're not going to spend the least amount of money possible to have a good team but you're not going to spend the most amount of money possible to have a good team either obviously some people do and those are the people with god squads and if you're one of those people that's great but i put together a list of players that i think give you the most bang for your buck which means like even they could be fifty thousand coins they could be five hundred thousand coins as long as i think spending that amount of coins is justified so for example barry sanders is not going to be on this list he's the best running back in the game he's probably the best player in the game other than maybe sam mills but he's so expensive it's not worth it is he 500,000 coins better than whatever the second best running back is? Probably not. He's very good. He's the most expensive because he's the best running back in the game, but he's not the best bang for your buck. Just like the, the Rod Woodson that came up. People were selling him for like 800,000 coins. He's a very good quarterback. He's probably the best cornerback in the game right now, but that he's not worth it. He's not worth that amount of coins. Now, if you want to have the best team of all time, then sure, he's worth it, but Bang for your buck is what we're going for here. And of course, if you haven't watched my channel and enjoying my stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon down below so you can know as soon as my videos come out. I am recording this Thursday evening. I know this is going to be coming out Friday and we're going to have the Superstar MVP promo part two. So if you want to talk about coin methods or training or just what the market's doing in general, join the Waz Squad Discord down below. So it's free. Anybody can join. We talk about stuff in there. I'll probably have a video out Saturday, maybe Sunday regarding the MVP promo. So definitely jump in there if you want to talk about it and not just have to wait for me to make a video. And this should be obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway, by the time this video comes out, the prices that we're seeing on these cards will probably be pretty different because we're going to see a pretty a big downtrend in the market tomorrow, at least I believe we will. So the first one here, for example, Russell Wilson, as we're going to talk about at quarterback, he's 100,000. He could be under that tomorrow, but we'll see. Anyway, Russell Wilson is going to be my best bang for your buck quarterback. If we look at him here, obviously Russell Wilson's one of the more popular picks at quarterback. Basically everyone right now either has Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, or or maybe Dan Marino, and then Russell Wilson, a couple of them thrown in there, but he's very, very good, so he's got pretty good speed there at 78 speed, 84 throw power is very nice, uh, 85 short accuracy, he's got really good passing stats across the board, 85, 84, 87 at the accuracies, throw under pressure, throw under wood is all good, he's got the play action, so he's a very good, he's kind of like Patrick Mahomes, he can move a little bit, he's pretty good at running, and he is going to get an upgrade in the future, something that I wanted to look at as well uh, with him is, yes, his card is 100,000, his elite, but you just saw here, his power is only 4,000, so you can actually power him up for relatively cheap all the other guys are a little bit expensive but russell wilson is a phenomenal quarterback and if you don't want to break the bank on some of the more expensive guys then he is a great one to pick up at running back i decided to go with cam Akers, one of the team builders there are quite a few team builders on here for fifty-five thousand coins so he is much much cheaper than the russell wilson but that's just because he's a running back you go and look at his stats over here the 88 speed is very nice for an 84 overall 91 excel 89 agility as y'all know at the beginning of the year you want to favor agility and speed and all that over pretty much every Everything else his change of directions pretty good at 82 as well his break tackle trucking could be a lot better that's not what makes him a good back you're just gonna want him to run away or avoid tacklers and all that he's not gonna be running a lot of people over but at this part of the year towards the beginning of the year like this when speed is king cam Akers is a great choice and again not gonna break the bank only 55,000 coins right now I went ahead and picked two wide receivers and the first one I went with was Tyler Lockett who of course was part of the part one of the MVP promo 86 overall looking at his attributes is 88 speed 79 jump so he's pretty good all around the board you can see here but one of the main reasons this is such a good card is because he does get abilities on him i don't know i actually have him on the t okay there are so he has the uh, x factor the rack he gets the rack versus a uh, single coverage but the really good one is that return man so he, yes he's a wide receiver position but if you want to throw him back on punt and kick return uh kick return or return man is a very very good ability if you haven't used it yet it basically is human joystick on your guys when they're returning the ball so i of course have mine at return man and he's very very good and then of course he has to replenish stamina after successful skill moves not bad that's okay but really the return man is a phenomenal ability to have this early in the year and then my second pick for wide receiver a little bit cheaper here is going to be justin jefferson the 84 overall team builder 88 speed 85 jump 83 catch 83 catch in traffic 85 
Mass Spectacular. This card is on a lot of teams I've played in head-to-head -head and everything. Very, very good card. He gets some really good animations. I just like the way he plays. And for only 50 to 55,000 coins, he's not bad at all. He definitely could be getting some upgrades this year as well. So this is definitely one if you don't necessarily want to spend the nearly 100,000 coins for Tyler Lockett. You don't care as much about Return Man. Justin Jefferson is a great option. Then at tight end, like I said, guys, there's going to be a lot of team builders here. It is going to be Jonu Smith, uh, about 55,000 coins, 85 speed, 84 catch, 81 catch in traffic, 80 spectacular. Very good card. You'll notice that his run blocking and all that is not the best. So at the beginning of the year, you're going to kind of have to sacrifice one for the other. You're going to have to get a tight end that's really good at one or the other, or just get one that's just kind of average at both. I prefer to have a tight end that's very good at catching. Jonu Smith is a very good one. This is another guy that a lot of people have on their teams just for that 85 speed. That's very good for a tight end. And you can see he is six foot three, so he can go up and snatch the ball out of the air. Six foot three is a good height to have over the middle of the field for a tight end. For our first defensive guy, I went with Ashawn Robinson and D tackle. Now, D tackle, I don't think is one that you need to break the bank on at the beginning of the year. I think you need a big guy like Ashawn to be in the middle of the field and just hold the line. He's six foot four, 320 pounds, which how much does weight really matter? But that, for what it's worth, that's what it is. 83 strength, 86 tackle, 83 play rec. So basically what I look for at the beginning of the year is a D tackle with top end strength like the 83 strength is pretty good and then the 86 tackle so that they can hold their own in the middle of the line not just get blown off the ball and if they do manage to get their hands on the runner they're usually going to take him down. 86 tackle is very good right now at the beginning of the year. Ashawn Robinson is a very good D tackle. And again, one of the cheaper ones on this list. So consider picking him up. Now I did put a star next to this one because he is getting a card tomorrow, which will be today by the time y'all are watching this for the MVP promo part two or whatever. Miles Garrett though is one of the best cards in the game. And if you can somehow afford his card that comes out today, the 89, it's going to be very, very good. He and Aaron Donald are basically at the top. You got some of the other guys, you got some of the team diamonds and all that, but very, very good. He is one of the more expensive cards on this list 95,000 coins but just leave, this is just his 85 he's getting an 89 today uh go look at my twitter for his stats and all that if you want to go check that out but this is 77 speed 82 excel 83 play rec 82 block shed 86 i think it's a 91 power move now on his 89 and 78 finesse move so this is a very good card obviously his 89 will be very very expensive this card might go up a little bit in price tomorrow it might go over 100,000. it's already been announced at this point we know it's coming it's on my twitter by the time i'm recording this so his price might not go up that much higher but this is still one of the better write-ins in the game and he's still not Aaron Donald price so definitely this is one that I would get taking a big step back in price for the left end and this is just one that I have on my team and he plays really really good for me he consistently gets into the backfield and that is Joey Boza 84 overall left end so he's one of the cheaper cards he's probably the cheapest card on this list 71 speed 79 like none of his stats really jump off the page he does have 88 finesse move and 86 play right I don't really care about play right but the 88 finesse move is nice but I find that he gets off the block a lot and into the backfield for an 84 overall again this list is for people that perform very well given their their price point i'm not saying the best players in the game they're the cheapest best players they perform very well for their price point is what this list is so joey bosa would be a budget beast but he's also an incredible bang for your butt because i think he plays very well he's very good animations and i just find him consistently getting into the backfield and getting sacked maybe that's because people's offensive lines are mostly weak for the beginning of the year right now but in general, he plays very, very good for me. Also, I want to make a quick little note. Obviously, there's no offensive lineman on this list. I usually do leave offensive linemen off of this, uh, these kites of lists just because... I don't know. I don't really care that much about offensive linemen. I don't think they're that important, especially this time of year. And the, the pass rush just kind of sucks. Uh, so I, I, offensive linemen, I say kind of steer clear of, honestly. Uh, but at left outside linebacker here, we're going to go with Tyus Bowser as I enter in his name. The 84 overall team builder. So very, very good card. 84 overall. Uh, 82 speed, 86 excel, 83 tackling, 81 play rec, and 84 finesse move. So a very good pass rusher coming off the edge at left outside linebacker. If you don't want to break the bank, again, I think I've said that phrase like 50 times, but if you don't want to break the bank, uh, Khalil Mack and Von Miller are going to be very, very expensive. But Tyus Bowser is a very, very good team builder. Again, all these team builders are around the 50 to 60,000 coin mark. They might be a little bit cheaper tomorrow, so you can snatch them up for a little bit cheaper or build them for cheaper than that if you want to. This Tyus Bowser is a very, very good pass rusher, though, and very well worth the coins. At right outside linebacker, I decided to go with Shaquille Barrett, 77 speed, 79 excel. This is another one of those guys that his stats just don't jump off the page. 77 speed, 79 excel, 86 finesse move. So he has good enough that finesse move is good another 
another one of those players that I find just getting off the block off the edge. And he's just, guys, offensive linemen aren't very good right now at blocking. Unless people just pump a lot of coins into their offensive line, which personally is the last position that I would upgrade. And even if you, just because if you pump coins into it, they don't get that much better. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think Joe Thomas, for however many coins he's going for, is worth it at left tackle over an 82 or an 83 right now. So a lot of people have that same mentality. And Shaquille Barrett's a very good pass rusher off the end. With that 86 finesse move, he's going to be able to shed a lot of blocks and get to the quarterback a lot, even though the pass rush is obviously nerfed a little bit. 921, still a good pass rusher. Now, I said that Joey Boza was the cheapest one on the list earlier, and I was completely wrong because it's definitely going to be Devin Bush at 81 overall. And Devin Bush is, this is a very, very good card. Definitely a bang for your buck here. Again, not the best, not the worst, not the cheapest or whatever. Bang for your buck. 81 overall card for only, what is it, like 17 or 18,000 coins, 86 speed, 87 excel, uh, 82 tackling, 85 hit power. This card is very, very good. Obviously, his zone coverage and man coverage and all that stuff kind of sucks. Block shedding's not good, so he's not a very good blitzer. But if you use your middle linebacker, this is by far probably the best card on this list. And he's also part of the Superstar promo, so he does get the Avalanche uh, X Factor, which is downsell hit six force fumbles, which is just broken right now, and then reduce zone objectives in the home stadium, so he gets it a little bit easier. But this is a very, very good card. And for being one of the cheaper ones on the list, I think he stacks up to pretty much everyone else on this list. I think this is a diamond in the rough that a lot of people are sleeping on. A lot of people do have him on their team because he's so cheap, but he's a very, he's a very, very good card and a good, great user for middle linebacker. At cornerback, I did go with Trey Waynes, who is someone I have on my team, another team builder, 57,000 coins right now, 90 speed though, 84 overall with 90 speed, 88 excel, 84 jump, and then his coverage, that's the problem, his man coverage is only 79, zone is 76, press is 79, so nothing else is great, he is 6 feet tall, so that's pretty good, but this card plays very, very good for me, this is one of the better cornerbacks on my team, and for only 50,000 coins or so, very, very good, you can't beat that 90 speed at the beginning of the year, and with the man coverage, obviously I wish his man coverage was a little bit better, and 82, 83 would be nice, but 79 gets the job done and all against the best wide receivers he performs very very well we got the two safeties left we're first going to go with strong safety and terrell edmonds another team builder guys these cards are just really great value Fifty-four thousand coins right now roughly around there 89 speed 89 excel the great one with him is that 90 hit power this is a lot of times the card that i use or in my defense the strong safety and he is very very good i like him very much everything's great obviously his man and zone coverage aren't the best but because I use for him, it doesn't really matter. This card is cracked for me. He makes a lot of great plays. He makes a lot of good interceptions. He forces fumbles. He's all over the field. This is one of the better value cards on this list for sure. Terrell Edmonds. And it hurts me to say this. He's a stealer, but he's just, he's phenomenal, guys. And the last one on this list is going to be free safety, and it's actually Rod Woodson free safety. So if you do have Rod Woodson at cornerback, obviously you can't put them both on the field. But this 85 overall free safety, Rod Woodson, I was looking at it, is actually a really freaking good card. 85 speed, 85 excel, so not the craziest speed like some of these other guys, but he has 85 play rec, 81 pursuit. 84 man coverage with everybody running man coverage right now that's really really good uh 83 zone coverage so whether you do man or zone i guess it doesn't matter 84 83 is not bad only 76 hit power so that's not the best but as a general coverage safety he's a very very good card now again remember if you do have rod woods in the cornerback you can't have two rod woodsons on defense you can't have one on defense and one on offense but probably won't happen with rod woodson anyway but just to keep in mind very very good free safety if you don't want to build all the way up to his cornerback is 85 overall free safety card is phenomenal but that is my list of the best bang for your buck players right now the most cost efficient whatever you want to call them so let me know what you think of my list down below who you think the best bang for your buck guys are if you have anyone on your team who you think is a little bit of a diamond in the rough who's very underpriced who's just a really really good performing car let me know down below and of course guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and like it that helps me out more than y'all can know thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all did enjoy watching the video and as always i will see y'all in the next one